One moment, please. I only have two legs. Mm. Yes? How do you do? I'm Charlene Fusco, and I'm here to interview Mr. Hugh Handsome. And what fan magazine are you from? True movie fiction. Trash. Well, you're no Arthur Treacher yourself. Mr. Handsome will be with you momentarily. You know, I've never seen him in person. Is he as gorgeous as he appears to be on the screen? Gorgeous, sir. <laughs> he recently made the, uh, the list for the 10 most unbelievably attractive men in the world. Oh, where was he on the list? Number one, mm -hmm. through nine. <laughs> His mirror came in 10. <laughs> Hurry, I'm a little behind schedule. Mm. I do hope that you're emotionally mature enough to handle this interview. Look, to me, he's just another actor. You've seen one, you've seen them all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, Mr. Handsome, Mr. Handsome, uh, there's a Miss Fusco to see you, sir. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Here we go again. Shall I? No, that's quite all right, Smithers. I'll pick up. Then, uh, if you'll excuse me, sir, I'm getting a bit woozy myself. Miss <laughs> Fusco, let me help you. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 t I'm terribly sorry. I, I didn't think I, w I, w I, w I would swoon like that, Mr. Hanson. That's quite all right, that's quite all right. <laughs> It even happens to me. We do. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Miss Fusco, I spooned twice this morning while shaving. <laughs> Mr. Handsome. Yes. W would you do it for me? Do what? Uh, give me that look that you gave Monica Savage in your last movie. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Brace yourself. Hiya, baby. You think it does? every time. <laughs> Miss Fusco, let me help you again. Oh. I think for the rest of the interview, you'd better sit down. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> the couch would be more comfortable. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> now, um. shall we get started? Anytime. <laughs> with the interview. Oh, yes. Uh, now, where were you born? I was born in St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> right. And did you go to school there? Yes, I went to school there. And while I was in school... <laughs> Miss Fusco. Yeah. There's no pencil in your hand. How about that? <laughs> Perhaps it's in your purse there on the floor. Yes, it might be in my purse there on the floor. I'll get it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you are. Oh, thank you very much. Just kind of move. <laughs> Clumsy. <laughs> Here's your pad. And your pencil. Oh, thank you. I'll get the other thing. Oh, don't bother. I'll get them the next time I faint. <laughs> Very well. Please continue. Uh, uh, <clears throat> when did you first get interested in acting? I believe it was in high school. In high school? Yes, in high school I starred in all the class plays. And then a talent scout from Hollywood discovered me. An actor. <laughs> Are you all right? I don't know. I've never had a chance to find out. <laughs> Please continue. Mr. Mr. Handsome, do good looks run in your family? Oh, yes. My parents were excruciatingly beautiful. Oh, then, then you inherited your good looks from them. They inherited theirs from me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hot stuff>. oh, <laughs> Uh, do you, uh, do you, this is so difficult, do you, uh, sleep with or without pajamas? Without? <laughs> Would you like to see the upstairs? What's up there? My bedroom? <laughs> Perhaps we'd better forget the upstairs, Miss Fusco. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. All right, I think you'd be interested in seeing this rare sculpture over here done by Pablo Picasso. Oh, how interesting. I posed for it myself. 
Um, Mr. Handsome, uh, when, 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 <laughs> when you posed for this, were you, uh, were you, uh... Completely. <laughs> We must be crawling right along now, Miss Musco. I'm running late. I wanted you to see this bronze... This bronze... <laughs> oh, boy, loincloth. This happens to be the loincloth I wore in all my jungle pictures. Me, Jane. <laughs> well, you didn't last as long as the others. Smithers? Yes, ma'am? I think Miss Fusco's had about all she can take. Indeed, sir. I knew she wouldn't be able to cut it. Well, I'm glad this is my last interview. Now I can get out of these uncomfortable things. These elevator shoes. Yes, sir? This smoking jacket with all the padding. Yes, sir? My hairpiece. Yes, sir? And the girdle. Yes, sir. Oh, now I can relax and be myself. Yes, sir. <laughs> man for coming over to be with us tonight because he's on his way again to Vietnam tomorrow uh, to entertain our boys over the Christmas holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Here you, are. you know, you were so kind to me when I wanted you to come over and do a spot for uh, our first show that I, there's no way I could have turned you down tonight because I just love you. Oh, that's sweet. This for that. <laughs> <laughs> the only trouble was... And I, I tell you one thing. I, I sat back there. That sketch was so funny. I sat back there and hissed all the time you were on. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it great? Well, thank you. Good Sure, this, this coming Thursday night to watch Bob on his own NBC, I, ooh, ah, the network with the bird. Yeah. I watch that, uh, his special on this coming Thursday night. And uncross your legs. 